possibly be the most insane nutty game I've ever gotten the joy of experiencing. I'm talking almond nuts, cashew nuts, pecans, peanuts, walnuts. This game is so goddamn nutty, alright? If you haven't played it yet, shame on you because Ultra Kill slaps. It slaps some serious ass. But before I start praising this title like it's the next What's Jesus up, Christ, baby? let's talk a bit about what people like to compare Ultra Kill against the most. Doom. Now, um, Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal are pretty fun games, right? You go into a room, shoot a bunch of weirdos while doing a bunch of wacky glory kills, and then move on to the next room and repeat the process. It's a simple but extremely gratifying and fun experience. But you know what it doesn't have? Rocket jumping, ricocheting coins, rocket surfing, homing magnets, sliding, exploding shotguns, saw blade launchers. These games don't even have a funny fat hamster you can pick up, so you know, what's the point right you feel me now before you jump to any conclusions all right i just want to say that i really really like both doom games i think that these are some of the best shooters ever created and they have really paved the way on how to make a modern fps so doom eternal took what doom 2016 did and amplified it by two making it way more intense wild and crazy i talked about this two years ago in my doom eternal video ultra kill takes what doom eternal did and amplifies it by 20 making it so intense, wild and crazy that it becomes hard to follow what is going on and I'm all for it. You have six main weapons at your disposal to play with. A revolver, a melee punch, a shotgun, a nail gun, a rail gun, no not that one, and a rocket launcher. On a surface level these might seem very simple and kind of bland. I mean I've seen revolvers and shotguns in games before but what makes it special in Ultra Kill are all the different variants. You don't just have a shotgun, you have a shotgun that can load up multiple shells. You don't just have a melee punch, you have a melee punch that you can use to deflect the bullets, including your own. So what you can do is load up your shotgun with shells, shoot and quickly melee to do this. Like I said, this is a nutty game and that was just one simple mechanic out of a dozen with the best one being without a doubt the coin because it combos with almost every single weapon in your arsenal. The way the coin works makes my head spin so you throw it up in the air, shoot it and it will ricochet to an enemy weak point dealing a big chunk of damage and if you shoot it at the right time it will split the shot in two, you can melee chain it, use the railgun on it, make the core of your shotgun get blown up mid-air. These things are insane and extremely satisfying to use. It is hard to get a grip on them, but that's the fun part about Ultra Kill, learning these crazy mechanics and comboing them together. The game doesn't teach you any of this, which makes it even more rewarding when you figure it out. Each weapon has multiple different variants, or well, they are going to get multiple variants. For example, the nail gun has a version that shoots a magnet that all your nails will home to and a version that can fire extremely quickly for a short period of time. So if you combine these two together by sticking a magnet into an enemy and swapping to the rapid fire nail gun, you can dish out an insane amount of damage, basically shredding everything in your head. It is satisfying as hell. And also as a bonus, it looks pretty cool, which actually serves a purpose, believe it or not. You might have noticed this big block of text in the right upper corner this is your style meter and style info if you do something cool this meter will increase it starts at rank one that being destructive and it goes all the way up to rank eight named ultra kill hey that is like the name of the game <laughs> at the end of a level it will tally up your time kill style and deaths giving you a final score if you manage to get everything to s rank with zero deaths you get a p rank for that stage and we've been here before right it's not penis rank all right shut up this is where the real fun begins trying to go for that beautiful glorious p rank the levels in this game are very brief but packed so it never feels like you're slowly grinding towards an impossible goal and that's the beauty of this game trying to improve it is fun to just learn all the cool tricks at your disposal that's Playing the game is the fun part. I, I can't really say that about a lot of games these days. And don't even get me started on the secrets and easter eggs man. This game is hilarious. What the heck? There's a part where you just play Crash Bandicoot for no reason. The sandbox map is straight up ripped out of Gmod. Armboy is in this game and just so you know... 
Ultra Kill is still an early access. It isn't even finished yet and already it's a masterpiece. I don't care who you are or what you are doing. You have to play this game at one point or another. Hello everybody, my Markiplier. Markiplier.